Here at Salt Strong, we get a lot of questions on when is a good time to use each one of our most popular jig heads. And that's what I want to do in this video is I want to go through the four types that we offer and when is the best time to use them. And I'm going to show you what they look like rigged on lures. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to start out with this one right here. This one is what we call our round eye jig head. It's an exposed hook jig head that uh, is going to have a really good hookup ratio. Uh, that's an advantage of having that exposed hook. Uh, it also has a ball head style on there and it's got that large eye. This is best used for rigging it on a paddle tail and swimming it through the water column. Now you can use this to bounce it along the bottom, uh, but the best application for this one is going to be using it to swim a lure through the middle of the water column. So really it excels with paddle tail lures. Now these do happen to come in three different sizes and we have three different weights from 1 8, 3 16 and quarter ounce. So it's for really good shallow water applications. And this is what it looks like rigged up on our lure. This is a four inch mulligan. And as you can see, that hook point is exposed and that is the jig head right there. So uh, that is probably the perfect application for that is using it on a paddle tail like this. Now let's move on to the next one. And the next one is going to be uh, kind of the same style. It's gonna be that open point that you see right there. Uh, but this one's called a football jig head. And the reason why there's an advantage with that football jig head is whenever you're bouncing something along the bottom, like say you're using a shrimp profile or even using one of those paddle tails and you want to do long pauses on the bottom this one when it stays at rest is going to keep that lure pretty much upright like that it's not going to fall over whereas if we take a round eyed jig head and we put it on that lure and we do those long pauses at the bottom uh, where it's just sitting there well the lure might fall over on its side and it doesn't look very natural that way but with a football jig head it's going to stay pretty much upright and look a lot more natural even if i try to knock it over it still wants to stay upright so this is really good for bottom bouncing type of applications. So anytime you're bottom bouncing a paddle tail or a shrimp imitation, maybe even a jerk shad, this is really the one that you want to go with. And this is that four inch mulligan. It's in, in that slam shady color. And as you can see right there, that is the football jig head. And that's what it looks like when it is rigged up. Now these next ones are gonna be our weedless applications. And what I'm gonna start with here, this is the Haas Helix. This one is gonna be one that's gonna be designed for shallower water. They have lighter weights on them. Uh, they're available in 1 16th, 1 8th, and 3 16th ounce weights. Now the way that you rig these up makes them really weedless. So that screw lock screws into the head of the lure, and then that hook point goes through the body of the lure and then back into it. So it's really streamlined and really weedless. And this is what it looks rigged up right here. So so as you can tell, there's where the screw lock is screwed into the uh, front part of that head. And then we bring that hook all the way through the lure, and then we put the point right back into that plastic. Now, this is a really weedless presentation. You can actually fish this around oysters. You can fish it around rocks. You can fish it around docks, grass, anything like that. And you're going to be able to go right through it. And that's what it looks like when it's rigged up on that same lure. And again, that's the Haas Helix hook. We do have these available in two different sizes. We have them in a 3 aught and a 4 aught. And again, we have them in 16th ounce, 8th ounce ounce and three sixteenth ounce. Okay, and from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our deep water weedless application, and that is going to be our Haas football weedless jig head right here. So it's got that wide football jig head that we saw earlier, so it's going to stay more stable side to side, but these come in bigger sizes as far as the weight. These are designed to go in deeper water. So this one starts out at three sixteenths ounce, and we have sizes all the way up to two ounces. So you can fish this in anywhere from three feet of water to a hundred feet of water if you want to, depending on you know, what your needs are and what the currents are. So we have that available. And this is what it looks like when it's rigged up right here. As you can tell, we've got the plastic uh, covering the front part of that hook right there. And then we've got the back part of the hook uh, through the back of the lure, and then it's back into the uh, plastic. So that way it's making it weedless and you don't have to worry about getting hung on everything. So with this setup, you've got the advantage of having that wide football jig head. So that's gonna keep it from getting stuck in the rock and the oysters and also it's going to keep it more upright whenever it's at rest and you also have that hook point that's going to be buried back into that plastic and it's going to be really a ultimate weedless setup this is what you want when you're fishing deep structure it could be docks it could be oysters or even reefs out there you know up to 100 feet deep depending on the size of the jig head that you use this is definitely the way to go so we've got you covered when it comes to the different styles it doesn't matter what depth you're working and what type of cover that you're working you can go with your deeper water applications again that's going to be your your uh, weedless Haas football jig head and if you're looking for you know something with an exposed hook uh, we've got these right here that is your football jig head that's got the exposed hook again the difference is going to be 
the hookup ratio. It's always best to go with an exposed hook if you can, but again, most of the time we're fishing around structure. That's why you need to go to a weedless application so you don't get hung up. Now, if you're fishing those shallow covers, so the shallow oyster beds or the shallow rocks, shell beds, anything like that, that's when you want to go with a Haas Helix. These are made for one to say three, maybe four feet of water, depending on your current. Uh, these work excellent. And then if you're swimming that jig along uh, that paddle tail or whatever you want, that's swimming in the middle of that water column or maybe towards the bottom, or you're fishing in an area that you don't have to worry about getting snagged a lot using the round eye jig head is a really good way to go again you get that exposed hook that's going to increase your hookup ratio so it really depends on what you're fishing if you're fishing around a lot of cover you want to go with these up here if you're fishing more open water and you're not worried about hung up then these exposed hooks are going to be the way to go so hopefully this answered some questions for you and maybe you saw a solution to a problem that you're having. If you want to try any of these out, they are available at fishstrong.com. Make sure and check that out. You can see the available sizes. And remember, our members do get huge discounts off the tackle at fishstrong.com. As always, I really do appreciate your watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. Bye.